I'm Lynn. Welcome to Cooking with Lynn. I'm doing another video for the Cumberland Public Library. We're doing a lot of virtual programming during the pandemic because we can't do in-person programming. So I've um, been doing some cooking videos. You can find all the ones I've already done at the Cumberland Public Library's YouTube channel or page or whatever you want to call it and check out what's coming up um, from the Cumberland Public Library's Facebook page. And uh, there's other programming. There's children's and teens and adult other programming. Lots of good things. I'm doing lots of virtual stuff during this time. So until we can get together again, we're going to keep doing this. And we'll probably still do some virtual stuff even afterwards. So today I am making it a little healthier. I did some Christmas treats recently. And, you know, it's all fun and games until you can't button your jeans. So... It's January and it's a new year and lots of people make resolutions to eat healthier and, you know, lose weight, whatever your resolution is. This is a great um, quick breakfast. It's a it's a peanut butter breakfast cookie. Now you're like cookies. We had enough cookies. We've eaten all the cookies, cakes and pies we can eat over the holidays. But this is a very healthy breakfast cookie and it's perfect for people on the go. Grab and go breakfast, grab and go snack. My husband takes them to work, eats them as a snack in the afternoon. They're packed with protein and it's great for when you get that afternoon, you know, drowsies and you're ready to take a nap. Protein will perk you right up. So, um, but he, I believe that he's taking them for breakfast. I've taken them and eaten them at lunchtime. So, um, they're, they're great. They're very, very tasty. You know, sometimes when we think of healthy, we think of that eh, that's probably tastes bland or whatever, but it, it totally doesn't. And you're going to feel like you're indulging yourself but you won't be. So anyway, what we need obviously is peanut butter. It's backwards, peanut butter. Or you can use crunchy peanut butter. You can use almond butter. You can use cashew butter. Um, there's lots of alternatives out there. I believe there's even things for people who have nut allergies. Sesame butter, I believe. So lots of things you can do with that. Um, you're gonna need brown sugar. You're gonna need oats. Um, and you will just regular oats, not, that's my oven, not steel cut. Uh, and I guess you could probably use instant oats. These are just regular, the oats that I use when I make my granola. Um, so simple, just regular oats. Um, I put dry cranberry, but you can use raisins. I have golden raisins here, dry cranberries, regular raisins. If you're using any kind of dried fruit that's a little bit larger you want to cut that up because you know the cookie is a cookie size and you don't want big giant pieces of fruit you can add other nuts you can add pepitas which is sunflower seeds you can add flaxseed you can add chia seed chia seeds are great for you black seeds are good for you um you can crush up some other sometimes i put walnuts it's already packed with protein because you've got um actually I missed a couple things, <laughs> you need vanilla. Eggs, so more protein. Um, I'm leaving my eggs out at room temperature because when you you bake, you want to um, have your eggs at room temperature. And cinnamon, so for so the ingredients again, a, a butter, nut, nut butter, peanut butter, um, oats, brown sugar, eggs, cinnamon, and vanilla, or any other kind of um, nut. You can even put coconut if you want. I don't like coconut, so, but I have it. Um, for different things and you could add that if you wanted to. So I am actually not going to add any other nut this time. I was putting flaxseed and I ran out of it. So I'm just going to do it simple with no other, no other nuts. So just quick, quick. It's very quick. Uh, what I do afterwards is wrap them individually. I freeze some. It makes a lot. It makes 15. So if you're going to take one a day, you know, to work, it's three weeks worth. And it's great and they freeze great and um you know just super quick and easy there's other variations too if you look for breakfast cookies online you're going to find some that have banana in them and all different variations so i'm going to do two cups of peanut butter or whatever nut butter you're using does not matter all personal preference you know, and, and sometimes when you make these a few times, you, you come up with, hey, let me try it with this this time. Let me try it with a different kind of fruit. No fruit. You don't have to put the fruit if you don't want to. I mean, kids love peanut butter. This would be a great grab-and-go breakfast for kids. 
And again, you know, the nut allergy thing I totally get. So I think there's alternatives that you can do for in that case as well. So anyway, let's get this out of here. Messy, messy. I am such a messy baker. I mean, I've already got it all over my fingers. I don't even know how I did that. Anyway, lick the fingers. That's all right, it's just for us. All right, oats, we need a couple of oats. That's messy, so we're just gonna do this. One cup of oats, that's a half a cup. Actually, when you're mixing it, and you'll see, um, sometimes it can look a little wet, so you can add a little, sometimes I throw a little bit extra oats in there and kind of watch it if it looks really wet, you can throw some extra oats in there. And half a cup of brown sugar. Light brown. I guess if you only had dark brown, that would work too. What else? What else? What else? Half a cup of. I'm using dried cranberries this time. It looks like I need to get some more. I need a lot of these. They're good for you too. I mean, you know, obviously um, there's some calories involved in all of this stuff, but measured out and, you know, take it into consideration in your diet. Um, I calculated at each cookie at about 200 calories, so if that's all you're eating for your meal, that's pretty low and super healthy, like I said. And we are going to put a half a teaspoon of, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which I'll get to. <clears throat> Brown cinnamon. You can put more if you like it. If you like more cinnamon, add more cinnamon. You know what? I'm going to add more because I like it. <clears throat> All right. And the eggs go in. Some people like to break the eggs into a separate little bowl in case some shells get in there, but I don't know. Egg shells never killed anybody. Just mix it up. It's kind of wet. It's not a regular cookie dough. It's not going to be rollable or, um, like I said, it's it's kind of wet. So actually, I'm going to grab a little bit more of the oats. Maybe another, I don't know, eighth of a cup. Just eyeball it. You can kind of tell if you've made cookies before. Let's get it all mixed in. And you know what? I'm going to finish off my cranberries. Throw a little bit more in there. No, you know I know baking is is pretty accurate and scientific, if you will, but in this case, you know, if you wanted more cranberries in there, more raisins, whatever, certainly could do that. All right, that's pretty much it. I mean, mixing time is nothing. You can put chocolate chips in here if you want to, too. I mean, you don't have to make it a, you know, it can be a little bit sweeter if you want. Make it a real cookie just a breakfast cookie. So I am going to, now, ah, mess. I'm a messy baker. You also need parchment paper and cookie sheets, which if you don't have parchment paper, you can just spray your pan. So I have a couple here because it makes a lot. It makes um, about 15, like I said, and sometimes I only get 14, but it depends how big I make them. I'll get everything over. All right. So what I'm going to do, I forgot my spray. I'll be right back. Because I'm using um, a measuring cup to measure them and get them on the cookie sheet. And it's so sticky and messy, so I spray it so that the cookies come out. So, and this a quarter cup uh, scoop, you can use an ice cream scoop too if you want. This make this, if I do this right, I should get 15. So I'm going to show you what I do use my hands, which I washed. Okay, pack it in there pretty good. And then just plop it, you gotta kind of work it. Arr, come out, there we go. So there's one. And it comes out, you know, in the shape of the measuring thing. And then later on, I just kind of flatten it out a little bit. They don't really spread out, so you don't have to worry too, too much about them being close together. They don't spread out like 
chocolate chip cookies or whatever do. So I'm going to finish putting these all in the cookie sheet. I'm going to pop them in the oven at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you what's going on after that. Let me pause this. I am back. I took them out of the oven a couple minutes ago and I let them cool a little bit and they look just like cookies. Um, this is the size I normally do. I got 14 um, and obviously you could make them smaller if you wanted, cook them a little less time if you wanted them to be more of a snack um, or you wanted to get more and you can certainly do that. But it's hard to tell by looking at them if they're done because they're already a darkish color. You know, it's not like they start out really blonde and then you're waiting for them to turn golden brown. Although you can see a little bit of golden brown and they're cooked nicely. So it is a little bit hard to tell, but you know, keep an eye on them after about 12 minutes. They took about 15 and um, they just, they get a little bit golden. You can tell. You, if you've made cookies before, you can kind of tell. You watch for a little bit of golden brown on the bottom and um, any more than 15 will probably be a little bit too much. But what I do at this point is after they've cooled, I just get out my saran wrap and I package them up individually. I just put them, wrap them up like that individually. I put them in a freezer bag. I freeze about 10 if I get, you know, whatever. I, I keep out a week's worth for him. He takes them to work pretty much every day. So I keep five out and I freeze the other. They freeze beautifully. I just take them out, they thaw quickly, and um, and they're great. Um, he eats them for a snack. Like I said, eat them any way you want. Treat them like regular cookies or dessert, whatever. They're absolutely delicious and easy to make and super healthy. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out our other videos on YouTube and check out our calendar on Cumberland Public Library's Facebook page to see what's coming up. I will see you soon.